also in the procession in the Dean Provost College of uh, Postgraduate Studies from Sayan. very much. We take the opening prayer. And it's my pleasure to invite the university pastor, Professor Ife Ehioge. Shall we bow heads while we pray? Almighty and ever-living Father, we thank you for this gathering this afternoon. We pray as we begin that you begin with us. We want to thank you for our guests, invited guests from far and near, wherever they came from. We want to thank you for granting them journey messages to be here at this time. We pray as we begin this program, this hour, that you superintend all that we are going to do this afternoon. We pray that your divine presence will be made manifest in our midst. We pray that we, you be with us throughout this exercise. And at the end of this program, may your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. In Jesus' name we are praying. Please, let's remain standing as we take the national anthem. University Anton. Once more, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us for this inaugural lecture, the 36th of it. And all recognitions already taken, may I at this point
ladies and gentlemen, invite Mr. President, Vice Chancellor, Professor Ademola S. Tyer for his introductory remarks and citation of the inaugural lecturer. Mr. President. Good afternoon to you all. The Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academics, Professor Philemon Amanzi, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Management Services, the Vice President for Financial Affairs, the Vice President for Student Development, the first Vice President of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria and the host of members of the well-respected institutes that are here that I may not be able to mention one after the other, Provost of the Postgraduate College, Provost of Benjamin Carson College of Medicine, uh, distinguished Associate Officers of the University, Deans and HODs, immediate members of the inaugural lecturer of today, I see also our respected leaders in the community, KBSs and the Chiefs, and the members of the academia that are here Students, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to the 36th inaugural lecture of Babcock University. Inaugural lecture is a well-established tradition of any university that's worth its sought globally. I've had opportunity to watch inaugural lecture across continents and Babcock University key into this exercise. We want to thank God that today we are having the 36th inaugural lecture to be presented by one of our erudite professors. It's an opportunity for one who professes to be a professor to give account of what he or she must have done, the research work that, that, that must have been done over the years in a span of just one hour. That could be a very Herculean task, but I believe our inaugural lecturer of today is ready for the task. And so without much ado, because you don't want to eat into the time, I want to invite the inaugural lecturer of today to come forward and stand and remain standing. <laughs> Young Festus Folajimi Adebie was born in Ondo Kingdom in September 1958 to the family of late Mr. L Mr. Michael Oju Adebie and Mrs. Olayemi Adebie. Folajimi attended St. Luke Primary School, Owena Idanre where he obtained his primary school living certificate. He later proceeded to Independence Grammar School, Ondo, where he passed and obtained his West African Examination Council certificate. He then proceeded to River State University of Science and Technology, now River State University, where he obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in business management, 
with second class upper division. Folajimi attended the University of Aduikiti, now Ekiti State University, where he backed his Master's in Business Administration, MBA, in Accounting and Finance. He later attended Covenant University, Ota, and obtained his Master of Philosophy in Accounting. But because of his quest for knowledge, he proceeded to enroll in Doctor of Philosophy degree program at the same Covenant University in Ota, and back his PhD in Accounting in 2011. Our inaugural lecturer of today is a qualified chartered accountant and a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. But beyond that, he's also a qualified chartered banker and a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Not only that, he's also a qualified chartered tax practitioner and a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria. This is three fellows in a row. Today, the inaugural lecturer of today is a professor of accounting and taxation in Babcock University, Lishan Rema, Ogun State. His expertise is in financial engineering, restructuring, and reinventing strategies in business-oriented organization and taxation and fiscal policy in an economy. He has proven leadership, professional, and technical skills in managing organizations with the aim of achieving set objectives. His career. Festus Folajimi, after his National Youth Service Corps, joined Omega Bank and served the bank in the following capacities. Branch Accountant, Akure Branch, Brand Manager, Ondotan, Senior Manager, Victoria Island, Principal Manager, Allen Avenue Branch, Head of Finance and Management Information System at the headquarters in Victoria Island, Chief Accountant, Corporate Headquarters, Lagos, Area Manager of Eastern Network, Port Harcourt, and finally, Head of Risk Asset Management of the Bank at the Head Office of Omega Bank, Victoria Island. But because of his passion for academics, he left the banking sector and returned back to the university in 2003 for his PhD in accounting. He served as a lecturer at the Covenant University until 2012 and then transferred his services to Babcock University, where he is currently serving as the head of the department. Our inaugural lecturer of today has so many awards and recognitions. Time will not allow me to mention all, but he was the most outstanding productivity person of the Omega Bank in the year 2002. He got the Lecturer of the Year Award at the Department of Accounting at Covenant University in 2008-2009. He also got the Accounting League of Backward University Honorary Award as the most outstanding lecturer of the year, 2015-2016. The same Accounting League Backward University Honorary Award as the best lecturer of the year, 2016-2017. He got the Ambassadorial Award of Meritorial Service of the class of 2017. Postgraduate Leo class of 2018 best lecturer award, the Department of Accounting and on and on and on. Our inaugural lecturer of today has had a lot of public lectures delivered, which I will 
save for another time because of the sake of time. He is happily married. And I believe the wife is here to give the support with four loving children. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, therefore join me in welcoming to the podium the inaugural lecturer of today, the 36th inaugural lecture of Babcock University as he delivers the lecture titled Resuscitating Financially Distressed Profit-Oriented Organizations, Reinventing and Regenerating Pragmatic Strategic Approaches for Business Sustainability. Let us enjoy the lecture. Thank you and God bless you. President, Vice Chancellor, Senior Vice President, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academics, Senior Vice President, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Management Services, all other principal officers and their associates, Provost of Colleges, University Registrar, the Dean, School of Management Services, all other deans of schools, head of departments of all departments here. Faculty and staff of School of Management Sciences, all other faculty and staff of Barco University, the President, Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, the President, Chartered Institute of Taxes of Nigeria, the President, Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, my Lord, spiritual and temporal, friends of the university and special guests, members of my nuclear and extended family, as students of the School of Management Sciences, all other as students of Barco University, ladies and gentlemen of the press, the school ladies and gentlemen, it is with great appreciation and adoration to the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth, and the owner of lives that I stand before this admirable audience to deliver the 36th inaugural lecture of Barco University. God's own great university. This will be the fourth inaugural lecture for the Department of Accounting. Inaugural lecture is being delivered in the cognizance of the trust reposed in me by the university administration for my professional appointment as a professor of accounting and taxation. Mr. President, why pondering of Holy Spirit inspiration, I discovered that God is a pragmatic strategic planning advocate, working to save situation from collapse and destruction. I analyzed the economic situation of Nigeria and quickly discovered that the profit oriented companies in Nigeria in all the sectors of the economy are not performing their roles at the bedrock of sustainability of the economy of Nigeria. Evidence has shown that there is a wide gap and deviation between the expected outcome and the actual outcome to strengthen the economic position of the, of the nation. Hence, this title is educating financially distressed for the organization, reinventing and generating a pragmatic strategic approach for business sustainability. Business sustainability is a continuing world method, goals attainment, and ultimate utilization of resources for long-term value creation. It is an essential of financial, environmental, and social objectives in the delivery of business activities, services, in order to maximize value for the long-term sources. However, evidence from literature, Adegbe Ashaolu and Enyi, 2013, Adegbe Shinabola and Olu in 2015, Kola Enyi, 2020, show that Pondorator come in Nigeria are not performing their roles at the backdrop of sustainability of the economy. The financial sector witnessed the liquidation of banks with the following statistics. Pre-independence, 22 banks. 1982, 3 banks. 
1994, four banks. 1998, 26 bank. 1995, 14 bank. Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, 2019, reported liquidation of 63 deposit money banks, 325 microfinance banks, 51 primary market banks from 1994 to date. National Insurance Commission, NICO, liquidated 14 insurance companies in 2004 and two insurance companies in 2020. Manufacturing Association of Nigeria in 2016 announced the liquidation of 217 firms with a loss of 180,000 jobs. Okolo 2019 expelled the painful exit of Michelin and Dunlop Tire Manufacturing Company in Nigeria because of their inability to continue to operate under a high cost of production and thin profitability. Now in 2007, the chairman of Dunlop recorded, said that Dunlop recorded a loss of 2 billion naira, like 10.8 million pounds, and a loss of 44 kobo per share. And hence, the company will not continue to expose its investment and asset to losses. Adikbe and Ashaolu 2015 reported that the Central Bank of Nigeria injected 620 billion in net financially distressed banks in 2009 to avoid liquidation. CBI listed some factors that resulted into this. That is, we have overhang of no performing loans and advances, capital inadequacy, non compliance with monetary policies, poor corporate governance. We are the four pillars of corporate governance were totally destroyed. That's accountability, fairness, transparency, and independence. Poor planning and control, lack of transparency, poor asset and liability management, macroeconomic stability, political stability, inadequate legal framework, and economic recession. At the in 2011, also studied manufacturing company to get a volatility. So optimal production and low capacity utilization Called distress in that particular industry. The World Bank in 2021 reported that the growth rate of Nigeria GDP of 0.15% against a projected 25% is indicating that we have a slow journey to recovery. Oil and gas industry is not left out in the distress syndrome. Mr. President and Vice President Sir, I was made the head of the department for accounting in August 2018 making me the sixth HOD of the Department of Accounting. My goal has been to create value and deliver value in the field of accounting. My experience both in industry and academy made me to realize that when value is missing in a life, is an, in a life, in an organization, in a state, and even in a country, in this situation, become a big challenge. Accounting is a profession that is created to engineer Financial stability ensures sustainability of an organization. It is the link between other professions and wealth creation. Accounting covers wide areas of financial expertise, including financial management, taxation, cost of management accounting, environmental accounting, financial accounting, oil and gas accounting, soft accounting software, accounting management information system, accounting design methodology, history and philosophy of accounting. Auditing and investigation, internal accounting, and uh, public, public sector accounting. Value creation is done. Investors are at a big dilemma as achieving a general where my specialty cannot be guaranteed. And sustainability of business is more than a challenge. Maintaining sustainability of is a major challenge in Nigeria crisis reading economy. Maintaining capital growth, poor maintenance of any asset, insolvency. The ability to sustain profit, the ability to maintain shareholder wealth maximization, low industrial output, poor demand for services, and poor in the market, and multiple taxation have been attributed to financial distress in these companies. Adekbia, Shinapola, and Oluni, Aneke, Indupusi, and Udosi 2019. There are two types of financial distress that are threats to sustainability. We have the general financial distress that exists. When it's occurring, it's spreading fast and cuts across all the sectors of the economy. But it's debt in terms of ratios of total assets, total liquidity, and level of operation to the total in the industry have not adversely affected the confidence of the public in the economy. Then we have system, meek financial distress, 
which is a problem of serious concern to relevant regulatory authorities, when its prevalence and the contagion effect become endemic and pose some threat to the stability of the economic system of the nation. CBN and NDIC, 1995, and ADEGBIA, 2011. Now, be, beyond restructuring, when it happens, most companies go into restructuring. By looking at the fourth industrial revolution, we have gone beyond restructuring. The watch work for top management is steady as she goes. While some companies maintain stability, with their leadership in that and business growth, other sources are eroded or destroyed by the type of technological, demographic, and economic change, and order of magnitude productivity, and quality gain made traditional competitors. When these companies are facing these challenges, they institutionalize restructuring, which includes downsizing, overhead reduction, employee empowerment, process design, portfolio rationalization, and beautiful at this intensive are their accomplishment can not restore a company to industry leadership, nor ensure that it has set the future or create business sustainability. Adegbi and Fakile, 2011. Adegbi and Lodi, 2015. Hame and Prala, in 1994, posited that when a competitive problem that is stagnant growth, declining margin, falling market share, finally become inescapable, most executives pick up the knife and began to bru the brutal work of restructuring. The goal is to cut away layers of corporate fat, jettison underperforming business, and raise other productivity. Executives who don't have the stomach for emergency room surgery, like John Acker of IBM and Robert Stemper of GM, soon find themselves out of a job. Though there are legal framework, federal competition and consumer protection act of 2018, Kama 2020, SEC Act 2004, NICOM Act 2004, for companies to integrate into their business operation. They are only good for compliance. They are taken at its approach. We cannot play this profit on the part of business sustainability. In the social area, there are major challenges that will make it to work and maintain sustainability. Number one, employee uncertainty. Employees become panic and stressed and agitated. We normally lead to financial crime, perpetration in order to take care of their future. There was a case of in around 1990, when I was restructuring, three staff entered the strong room of a bank, cut it five million, changed it to a dollar, and left the country. In the part of Nigeria, during that period also, a staff entered the strong room, a manager, to two million, Agent to dollar and travel out of the country. Number two, investors react, which lead to drop in top market. When there is so sorry, there are only offload of stock in the top market. Number three, loss of assets. Employee SE resort into the commonly losing experience, skilled and eligible staff. Number four, decrease in public image. It certainly lead to cheating in the public image. Customers and defensive public without the future. Or so coming. Hence, we are going beyond restructuring. Then, beyond re-engineering, it has shown that restructuring is a dead end. I posted by Hamer and Parallel, and I think Bishnabola and only 2015. Small companies introduce the strategy of re-engineering for better performance. They can aim to root out needless work and direct the attention of the company towards customer satisfaction, reduce cycle time, and equip total quality. There's a difference, though, between the structuring and the engineering. The engineering offers at least the hope, if not always the reality, of getting better as well as getting smaller. Any company that is more successful at the structuring than the engineering will find itself getting smaller faster than it gets better. In Econ, Oksuku and Noye, 2018, they posted that business engineering will resolve the organization way of doing things we do not work. Business journey process is a change strategy that will move organization closer to desired future performance and competitive advantage. However, what we have described that Adekbia and Onyindalo Mola 2020 and Hopman 2020 reveal that business process journey is central to reevaluating 
an article update of business procedure to achieve upgrade in business resource. However, there are limitations of uh, re-engineering. Number one, re-engineering does not work for every business and depends on factor of size of the company and availability of resources. Number two, limitation. Re-engineering will improve the efficiency of one department at the expense of the overall process. Number three, re-engineering does not provide immediate resolution as it concentrates upon long plan income collaboration of a business. We not only take some effort to take shape, but it's hard to gauge. Number four, re-engineering requires a large amount of investment, information technology, with proper planning, teamwork, and educational position, which many companies do not have the capacity. Now, we have analyzed the limitation that are in research and engineering. Now we have the 21st century, seven strategy pragmatic approach. For company to move forward and maintain sustainability, there are seven approaches that I want to profess to companies in Nigeria. The research sharing, regional approaches are a type of technocratic strategy. We subscribe to the idea of a rational approach of solid technical understanding and application of known practices that provide the best way of resolving financial problems. However, a dispensation of the fourth industrial revolution, high level of competition, macro and microeconomic business determinants, union for competitive advantage, that the need to go beyond democratic approach. Therefore, pragmatic strategy approach subscribe to a broader view of professional and personal judgment rather than depending solely on a set of rules and standards. That the judgment skills are acquired through practices, experience, environmental factors, ethical and legally bound to the generally accepted accounting principle that govern financial records of the profit oriented organizations. If you look at figure one, in page 19, we had the guess for competitiveness. The social made the company to be smaller. The engineering is better, but the way forward is reinventing industry and regenerating strategies. From that, a company can downsize and re-engineer without thinking of the need to generate its core strategy. Without being forced to rethink the boundary of its industry, without having to imagine what customer needs will be in 10 years' time, without ever having to fundamentally define its self market. However, without a fundamental assessment of the performance uh, and position of the company, the company will be overtaken on the road to the future. It is crystal clear in the Nigerian operating environment that defending today's leadership is no substitute for creating tomorrow's leadership. Creating tomorrow's leadership is the pathway to business sustainability development. The effective pragmatic strategy is a transformation and strategic guide to creating a new and adaptive firm showing how companies use strategic learning approach to constantly outthink, outmaneuver, and outperform their competitors. Regenerating is to create a new business and restore all damaged social necessity for performance, stability, and sustainability. When company is making the performance, they need to attain attain stability. Performance for stability is sustainability. But most of them, they stay on performance. We will never take them to sustainability. In Peterson 2021, avowed that any company has the objective of achieving long-term success, must develop and implement strategy as part of looking for organization. Using the old routine pattern in the 12th 21st century, for industrial revolution cannot get good results. Therefore, the seven strategic target approach for business sustainability. Number one, figure two and three, page 21. You have to redefine the future of the organization. Every company should redefine its vision in care for business sustainability. A vision statement is an expression of what the organization wants to achieve and create different to its set purposes and, and activity. It project to outside world the insight of the goals of the organization, which must be aspirational and also inspirational. A vision statement 
that is properly carved will attract clients and potential investors. Why a bad fusion statement will not captivate the minds of potential investors? From the fusion statement, organizations must make their mission statement that will give a long-term impression in the minds of the customers and potential investors. The mission statement must reveal the core values, a personality of the organization, and a traffic mission statement open doors for inflow of clients that are in need of economic beneficial services for consideration. Mission statement, official statement, mission statement, they move like a clock. They are not stagnant. So as, as we are expecting changes, we need to redefine our official statement and recap our mission statement. Number two approach is integrate corporate governance. Every company should integrate financial reporting council of Nigeria corporate governance codes of 2018, which is a key driver of corporate accountability and business prosperity and sustainability. It promotes public awareness of corporate values, ethical practice, and has the integrity of business environment, and rebuild public trust and confidence in the Nigerian economy. Integrate corporate governance in the, business, in the businesses will facilitate increase in trade and investment, both locally and internationally. The four pillars of corporate governance, accountability, fairness, transparency, then then must be fully generalized in this company. Also, still on corporate government integration, they should incorporate financial reporting council guidance on national engagement report on internal control over financial reporting, section two, We said that every public interest entity management to issue report on the effectiveness of internal control, including information system control annually with independent attestation by the external auditor. So report with auditors should be included in the annual report and filed with the council, the differential reporting council of Nigeria. They should also further incorporate financial reporting council guidance or managerial report or internal control over financial reporting, section one, subsection one, which says management is responsible for establishing and maintaining a system of internal control over financial reporting that provides reasonable assurance regarding the reliability of financial reporting and preparation of financial statement for external purposes in accordance with generally accepted accounting principle for going concern purposes. Number three approach. This number three approach is very, very important for any company that wants to maintain sustainability. Integrate the philosophy of interplay between the environment, shareholder values, and corporate governance for value driver. I will use figure four in page 25 to explain this. If you look at that figure, we have environmental impact, environmental legislation, environmental metal work. Environmental impact show the input from the environment into the industries. Environmental legislation show various laws and regulations that are passed which they must integrate into their business operation. Environmental work show what the company give our corporate social ability to give back to the community. When these three are combined, then corporate governance must link them to seven value drivers that I'm going to explain. Seven value drivers will now move and create value. And that is the end product of this particular model. You have to create value for shareholders and other shareholders will benefit from the value. Now let us look at the seven value drivers. Number one is sales growth. That is, when you maintain sales growth, you are going to have free cash flow. You are going to have, we are going to adopt adequate pricing theory that makes you to price your product appropriately in the market. Also, you must consider the quality of the product that you are sending to the market. Then, you have to look at competitive situation of that particular industry. In that end, because in that area, while analyzing quality situation, you must realize that the, so the supplier had the power of bargaining. So you have to understand that and put it into your agitation to increase growth. Power of customer to be recognized as king, that the all customers will be seen as king. Also, power bought by substitute products. We have substitute products that can kill industry. You will be able to analyze how are you going to overcome substitute products. Also, new entrants into the market we want to cash the market. They mean that if we are operating, we will be able to define the market, have a niche that will overpower and overmaneuver 
other companies. Having gotten the first Fadu driver, who now to working capital investment, a company must ensure adequate working capital. That is, we will have to have access to operational efficiency, that the liquidity financial head will be determined, and also we are able to execute profitable projects with adequate working capital. Then the third value driver is what we call fixed capital investment. That you, you invest in non-current assets, which you go to generate a common value that is generate income for the organization. And number four value driver is cost of capital. In an organization, the cost of capital that you use to operate must not be more than your internal rate of return. If your cost of capital is more than internal rate of return, you cannot create value for the organization. And uh, number five value driver is operating profit margin. This is where we see the ability of the management to be able to have adequate and effective cost of production so that we can have wide margin of operating profit margin. Then number six, value driver is income tax. Income tax is an enforcement that the company has no power over. But the only way is to ensure that all tax incentives are incorporated to reduce how much you are going to have as outflow of cash to fellow and revenue service. Number seven, the last one, value growth duration. This will be properly analyzed because in every industry there are what we call uncertainties, risk, then we'll be able to identify the risk, mitigate get them so that when all these several value drivers are combined, we now move, we will be able to create value. And that's the end product, shareholder value. There are three ways to measure shareholder value. That we call economic profit or economic value added. This is a situation where you are going to take your net profit, net operating profit, minus that minimum profit after tax, minus your cost of capital. If your cost of capital bring your net operating profit to negative, it means that that you are not creating value. Economic profit is negative. Source project, short project should not be undertaken. The next one is look at it on capital employed. This is returns on non mobilized capital, both equity and top capital, capital into the industry. How much are we generating every year back to the total investor we benefit from? For quality business, we will maintain 50% and 15% minimum. And for capital intensive business, we will maintain minimum of 10% with the global standard. Then the last one about creating value, what we call EBITDA. That the any before interest, that's the depreciation and potential. What is the use of this? Is how much a company and from each unit of sale is taking a percentage. If all these are positive in nature, then we have to create value. But there is one condition in creating value. The company must guide again aggressive any management that will destroy value and make it come to go into liquidation. When there's aggressive any management that is so negative. Whatever value you create is going to destroy the organization. Number four, approach in integrated task planning strategy. This is a financial strategy integrated into the financial plan of the company with the goal of minimizing the total ability to be paid to federal and revenue service. Integrated task planning is critical for business sources in an unpredictable economy and in a way of managing and preserving business and wealth of a public organization in complex regulatory environment, Hammer 2021, Adigbe 2021. The company must have competent professional accountants and top assistants to array the financial transaction within the framework of the law and the to minimize tax liability. There are two important factors that will be taken into consideration when implementing this strategy. Number one, tax payers should arrange their affairs in such manner as to minimize tax liability without contravening the law. Number two, tax payers are not obliged to arrange their financial affairs in such a way as to enable the tax authority to impose more tax on them. They will order their affairs so that taxes will be as low as possible if they do it within the law. These are some of the strategies or so that you need to employ. Number one, they must utilize depreciation. 
Number two, they must claim capital allowances on qualified capital expedition with the applicable rates. We have the initial allowance, annual allowance, investment allowance, balancing charge, and to have reduction in their total income. How we have to enjoy tax credit. Number three, they need to utilize approved contribution under CETA, Community Quarter Schedule 5, where donations are allowed to be donated to specified areas. Number four, they must utilize rollover relief on the payment of asset. Most companies don't understand that, that what we call rollover relief. This must be implemented in every organization. Number five, maintain equitable, ordinary share capital, equitable loan capital, T capitalization within the framework of the law in order to gain tax advantage. And number six, enjoy financial leasing, for, which is very, very slim in Nigeria. Financial leasing is thriving in developed nation, but Nigeria is not thriving yet. The Commission of Inland Revenue, as a Duke of Westminster and Editors, is a little case. Lord Tomley said, today is still a case that is guided tax peers. Every man is entitled, if he can, to order his affair, so that the tax under the appropriate act is learned that otherwise it should have been. If it succeed in order then, so as to secure this law, then, however unappreciable, the Commission of Inland Revenue or his fellow tax may be of ingenuity, it cannot be compared to pay an increased tax because it's operating within the law. So tax planning is very, very important that it help us to maintain form and retain form in the organization. Number five, public approach is integrated disruptive technology for business sustainability. This is a new way in the 21st century for industrial revolution. In a dynamic and far-going business environment, environmental challenges, innovativeness, and creativity should be the core objective of policy makers as information technology in combination with sustainability open doors for wide business opportunities. Sustainability models are focused on providing solutions to sustainability issues by creatively integrating eco-efficient and eco-effective innovative information technology into business operations for value creation and value delivery. Friedman, Matro, and Puja 2021. Adequia 2021 also positioned that this technology significantly alters the way business or industry operate. It often forces companies to change the way they approach their business for fear of losing market or becoming irrelevant. Companies should introduce the following type of digital technology to their business for competitive advantage and business sustainability. Number one, cloud computing. That the figures see in page 36. You see the diagram there. These are revolutionized how firms operate. They delivering computer service through the internet. Number two, internet of things. Figure seven, page 37. This describes domestic products that are identifiable and work together to improve productivity. IoT develops new relationships between things and other things, things and people, and people and other people to increase business turnover and sustainability. Number three, robots. It's a machine programmable by a computer to be, to be able to carry out complex series of business action automatically. Figure eight. Robots now have become a co-worker in every business organization. Number four, 3D printing technology. 3D printing is designed to add out traditional printing and manufacturing technique and make it easy for a firm individual to manufacture their own product or services. Figure nine, page 38. Then, very importantly, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence, a machine program to think like human beings, mimic the action, have unique characteristics to rationalize and take action to have the best chance of achieving specific goal. In artificial intelligence, it will declare a problem into the machine. The machine will come out with the solution. Then the last one is blockchain. Blockchain is a digital ledger of transactions that duplicated and distributed across the entire network or computer system on the blockchain. Blockchain utilizes the technology of digital ledger and to it decentralized and competitive components, for example, blockchain was developed through Bitcoin for the solving the banking sector, where ledger highly centralized. If you look up page 
39 if you go 11, you see the way blockchain is designed to make sure that business are connected all over. Then what are the benefits to the company that we introduce this technology? Efficiency will increase, productivity will increase, cost saving in manufacturing and service, better customer personalization online, increased safety and less tedious work. Change business, artificial intelligence and robot will become business mainstay. A wide range of changes will take place. Number one, change your operational focus to satisfy customers. Robot will become co-workers. Better customer service will be made possible. Knowledge workers will be greatly affected because they have to acquire the knowledge. Online operation will be transformed. Then another advantage, increase visibility. The business will be known all over the world. Improve forecasting. Also, with digital technology, forecasting will be made easy. Because by the time you e input your data into the system and add the computer to, to give you the result, we have to have what we call predictable forecast for the next years ahead. Number six, adopt a strategy is to integrate ultimate Cisco model to predict corporate failure and plan for financial stability and sustainability. This ultimate failure is being used in developed countries like, like essentially in America. This is a model developed by Professor Edward Altman, American professor of finance, 1968, to predict the, ch the chance of a company going financial this year, so as to intervene in order to gain financial stability and plan for sustainability. The model was a multiple balance sheet or several financial position and corporate income. This model was developed and was used in 22 US companies as a test. His first core model used five key accounting ratio. Model was as follows. The formula that is, we have six core. The coefficient 0 0.12 x1 plus coefficient 0 0.014 x2 plus coefficient 0 0.33 x3 plus coefficient o, 0 0.06 x4 plus 1.0 x5. We are x1 is working capital to total asset. S2 return earnings to total asset. S3 earnings before interest and tax to total asset. X4 market value of equity to build value of total asset. And S5 sales and total asset. With this model, Altman predicted that a score of 2.7 or higher indicated that the company was not at the risk of failure. A score below 1.8 indicated a high risk of failure. A score between 1.2 and 2.7 was in the gay area where failure was probability, but on not a high risk. C core have been planted to produce corporate failure in developed country. If you look at page 42, figure 12, you see that score, the safe zone show that it's operating between 3.0 4. That's a safe ground. Gray zone where the company must take care Call it red zone, if 1.8 to 3.0, then this red zone. The moment your score is below 1.8, that that company is tending to die. In that situation, this core Altman model is essential as being used in developed nations of Nigeria. In the first industrial revolution, companies in Nigeria must be able to incorporate this. The last strategy is integrated performance management system. Performance management system is a system established by public organization to have a shared understanding of what the organization needs to achieve. It is established sustain system of managing people in the organization in order to increase employee performance, achieve business success. A well-established performance management system normally convince and convince the employer that there are the right people in the right place at the right time for increased productivity, memorial and learn. 2010, posted that performance management system is a collaboration, communication, where employees and management work together to plan, monitor, and review the employee objective, long-term goals, just trajectory, and commercial contribution to the company. Again, two components for performance are, they must understand these two components. Number one, talent exploitation and preservation. Talent is a pillar of enterprise value. Organization management should think of how to preserve and solidify talent in the organization. Number two, performance feedback mechanism. Feedback mechanism are forward 
focus at the art to connect the current action of the employee to the future. All these seven permanent approaches are necessary in the fourth industrial revolution. Mr. President, first of all, with appreciation to God and the appreciation of the university, I confirm that I have served the university in the following capacities. Head of the Department of Accounting, August 2018, to date. Number two, Program Coordinator, MSc, PAD, and LP, August 2016 to July 2018. Chairman, Bameta Green Committee, NUC, and ICANN, August 2014 to July 2018. Member, College of Program Board, August 2018 to date. Member, Academic Standard Board, August 2018 to date. Member, University Senate, August 2018 to date. Editor, Bank of Journal of Accounting and Finance. 2021 today. Contribution at Covenant University. Coordinator, Tarzan and Fiscal Policy, Avant Cost Accounting, Avant Management Accounting, and Financial Accounting, 205 to 2012. Coordinator, Icon Asua, 209 to 2012. Chairman, Business Solution Committee, 209 to 2012. Chairman, Nwasa Committee, 209 to 2010. Chairman, Examination Review Committee, 2010 to 2011. <laughs> Contribution to the National Life. If I chairman, it's under control for the Financial Reporting, Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria from 2021 to date. Member, Economic Reform Committee, Federal Government of Nigeria, 2008 to 2009. Agreement Panel Member to Nigeria University, Nigeria University Commission, January to date. Member, Technical Research and Public Committee, so I started account of Nigeria, 2009, 19 to date, and others as mentioned, listed in the manual. Academic, <laughs> academic and professional linkages, fellow of the Institute of Shadow Account of Nigeria, fellow of the Shadow Institute of Tazi of Nigeria, fellow of the Shadow Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, number four, a standard examiner, undergraduate of the College. If 2017 to 2020. Extended examiner, undergraduate, Alpha Paula University, 2019 to date. Extended examiner, Christian University, Abel Kuta, 2020 to date. Extended examiner, undergraduate, Pan African University, Lekki, 2020 to date. Extended examiner, postgraduate, Keller University, Imota, Lagos, 2021 to date. Extended assessor, Jabba of Technology, 2019 to date. Contribution to society and the kingdom of God. I'm a member of Kusi Club Undo. I'm the current financial secretary. I've served as the president and vice president because I contribute to the social economy development of Undo Town, Undo Kingdom. It awards annual scholarship to the best student in secondary school in Undo. Number two, I was the consultant that assisted the establishment of Ekimo Community Bank Undo in January 15, 1992. It's one of the most stable community banks in Nigeria as said by Central Bank of Nigeria. <laughs> Number three, I'm a servant of the Most High God. I'm served as the head of evangelism, as a pastor, administrator, and so pastor and mountain of fire and miracle ministries. <laughs> as a solar pastor, God used members of the congregation to build 2,000 capacity auditorium with three galleries and eight offices in Jack and S.A. Ejibo, Lagos. God used my family and I to plan a branch which was not sure to become a zonal headquarters at NPC Ejibo with the mission of Bangkok University of Integration of Faith with Learning. I attended the three-level program and applied knowledge acquired to impact the life of our students, both at the undergraduate and postgraduate levels. Contribution to knowledge, Mr. President of Akilosa, permit me to mention some of my contribution to knowledge. Publication, I have 64 published articles in peer review journal at the international and national level. I have co-authored 60 articles with my mentees published in the international and national peer review journals. I contributed to the publication of two books, MSc, PAD, um, dissertation and thesis supervision. So I have, super, I have supervised and graduated 51 MS in accounting, 
one MS in finance, six MS in accounting in Bangor University. I've served as lead supervisor to 40 PhD and co supervisor to 26 PhD in accounting. But I've all graduated from Bangor University. I've supervised numerous BSc that project in accounting. The current year that we are going to convert it, we have 36 PhD that are going out and 38 MSc. I got professional examination. Between 2018 and 2021, the Department of Accounting have produced above 150, 150 chartered accountants. In, in 2019, one of the first class graduates got all the available prizes in ICA final examination. In the same year, one of our first class products passed ACCA London final examination. In every diet that we present our students for ICANN ATS skill examination, we record between 90% and 90% pass rate. All this were made possible because of the professional and committed faculty and staff who work with since being in the department. Public lecture delivered. I delivered three lectures after I became a professor. Number one, the four automated business landscape for efficiency and competitiveness. The amount of the four industrial era, Portuguese Ibadan International Conference, 13 July 2021, the lead paper presentation. Adron become the best Nigeria real estate industry, role of auditor and internal controller. Adron Homes, property real estate, January 2021. Human capital development, innovative digital technology, panacea for national building, independent grammar school, 68th anniversary, APC in Ondo. Awards and recognition as our visitors narrated that I will not go into that. Acknowledgement. Mr. President, Frank and sir, I appreciate the Almighty God for his love for me, for he, for he being the pillar behind my journey of life. I bear the Lord with my spirit, soul, and body for all the benefits he packaged for me in the journey of life. He guide me and direct my path of life. Glory be to God for making this day a day of reality. I give I give undiluted gratitude to my late parents, Parmaker Ujua Degbi and Ms. Olayemi, for their effort to see I was educated. My father was a cocoa farmer and a carpenter. We borrowed money to pay my school fees and that of my brothers before cocoa sale proceeds were received. And who said to me, Fala, you must give value for the borrowed money. He taught me the language of value. I especially appreciate the Bank of Infants Administration who have put the platform for the statistics inaugural, inaugural lecture under the goal oriented and the very leadership of President, Faculty of Professor Ademola S. Tayo, other principal officer, including Senior Vice President, Deaf Vice Chancellor, Academic Professor Philomo Amansi, Senior Vice President, Deaf Vice Chancellor, Management Services Professor Yako Alisu, the Five President of Financial Services, Dr. Kande, and other principal officer mentioned. A delicate balance of mentoring someone. It's not to create them in your own image, but giving them the opportunity to create themselves. I want to use opportunity to appreciate all my lecturers who mentored me in my journey at University of Science Technology, River State, Port Harcourt, University of Adokiti, Adokiti, and Covenant University. I personally appreciate Professor Taiwo Asaulu, who was my PAD, supervisor, and my lecturer. At the I also appreciate Professor Isodome for University of Bini, Professor Eni, also who are my, my lecturer, and other lecturers listed in that. Lord, we know what we are, but no, no, what we may be. Phil Shakespeare, Hamed 1603. I will remember and appreciate the former Deputy Vice Chancellor, so far as Academy Professor Henry Okoro. Who during his tenure motivated and inspired us in the Department of Accounting? He supported us and showed all the way to achieve success. I benefited a lot from his style of leadership. I will not forget all the faculty and staff of School of Management Sciences for their love and support, as listed in the note. I appreciate all staff of faculty of business administration and marketing. My good friend, Professor Adefulu, and his staff, I appreciate you. I equally appreciate all faculty and staff of the Department of Finance. Dr. Lalade and his staff, I appreciate you. I bear the entire staff of research, innovation, and international cooperation under the able leadership of our MEBU professor, Gesoluato Tayo, and the members of the Nicola Lecture Committee, comprising 
Professor Dora Agiboye, Professor Alec Beleye, Professor Najobi, Professor Malewa, Dr. Ayodele, they, they are oriented and committed to excellence. I appreciate their review of the manuscript and encouragement to deliver this lecture. I will not forget all the deeds of your school for their support as I list them in the lecture notes. I appreciate all other colleagues and friends, both faculty and staff, at least in the note. I give my salutation to my professional bodies who have given me the platform to appear as a qualified professional in three ways. Mr. Ochada Akantan, I appreciate the immediate power president, Mr. Comfort Olue Itayo, the current president, Malam Tijani Musa Isa, and uh, the second deputy president that is here, our chief, Alaribe, JC, who represents the president, I appreciate you, sir. And other listed. To the certain of thousand, I appreciate Mr. Adidayo Adeshina, who will be represented by uh, our prof and other members, uh, Professor uh, Onafokan and co Dr. Kenny and Professor Akitoye. Uh, I appreciate all of you. Uh, Professor Godwin, I appreciate all of you from CITN. Also from CIBN, I appreciate Dr. Ken Okpara. We did our SCIB together, we qualified together, who is the president today, represented by our man there. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all members of Kusi Club for motivating me when I decided to change from banking job at the peak of very high volatility in the industry. By the Olumide Fidelis, I give you the president, Professor Group Vijit me, Frank, the five president, Mr. Fito Akoni, the secretary, Dr. Tony Akiko, the Senate secretary, Honorable Joseph Willaki Toroye, my good friend, the chief judge of Ondo State, who is in our midst now. I thank you, sir. <laughs> chief Sir Ayodele Akibule, Chief Kola Vifo, Professor Ogunde Solomon, Mr. Folabi Mati, FCA, Kano Akilolo Akilolo Kwade, SCA, Kwadi Sofia Fela Kinoye, and Pastor Henry Akidoye. I appreciate all of you. I thank my brothers and their spouses for their contribution to my life directly and directly at listening to the note. I appreciate my in-laws, Mr. and Mrs. Agbe, and their children. They are here in their midst. Thank you, sir. Ma. I appreciate all our back on fancy BSc, MSc, MP, and PhD graduates, and current students for being such an inspiration for us and get ambassador for Baco University. Let me appreciate our students, because they have been uh, our marketers. So we graduated the first they have been marketing and be bringing students to us for the quality they enjoy in Baco University. I appreciate all of you. I'll never forget my wife, who has been my partner in progress over the years. <laughs> Mrs. Labaga Inka Adegbiye, we hold the cross together. We jointly move with the cross. Glory to God for blessing us with God fearing children. Mrs. Fola Shai of Victoria Agbe. Fola Doi Maki Adegbe. Fola Femi Alessa Adegbe. And Fola Tomiwa Rato Adegbe. In conclusion, as a president of the Sir, it is painful and call for compassion. When one time communists contributed to the development of the nation, the growth of the nation, and the welfare of their worker, work for being closed down, liquidated, and told their entire staff to the local care on ceremonies. There is no other alternative to business sustainability. If a company wants to maintain a growing concern entity, the business manager in the general economy should integrate their personal objectives into the corporate objective of the organization and focus on creating value for their shareholder. There is no other language to create value. In any business, create value. If you work on the money, create value. If you are to get in a meeting, create value. If you want to close, create value. Value creation will only make company to sustain business. Creating value for the shareholder will hand the value of the organization while other shareholders will receive their full benefit. Mr. President, I will conclude with these three quotes. When sustainability is viewed as being a matter of survival for business, I believe you can create massive change. Cameron Sinclair. Second one, sustainability at night means being laser focused on evolving our business model to deliver profitable growth while leveraging efficiency of lean manufacturing, minimizing our environmental impact, and using the tools available to us to bring about positive change across our entire supply chain. Maka, Maka. And lastly, if your business is not on the internet, your business will soon be out of business. Be gate. All the public approach I've in this lecture 
when they manage to key and bury from the city and move on to ever give visibility. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. You can have your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, you will all agree with me that our inaugural lecture of today has done very, very well. You are watching the time, and he showed that he's uh, an accountant. You know, I work very closely with accountants, and the accountants are people that are very precise. He's been able to deliver this inaugural lecture for 53 minutes. Let's give him a round of applause. We do not want to have another lecture which will be an anti climax. And therefore, by virtue of the power conferred on me by the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council of Babcock University, I therefore officially admit you into the professorial chair as Professor of Accounting and Taxation of Babcock University. With all its rights and privileges, congratulations. The inaugural lecture is, is done. Well, because of so many that have come from far and near, we want to bend backward today to give just a few minutes to the representative of the president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants. They have something to present to our inaugural lecture and few comments, and then we'll be done. I don't know whether FCIB, the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, they're here, but if they're here, we take a picture. And also the Chartered Institute of Taxation, uh, we take a picture, and then all other pictures will be taken outside this auditorium so that the decorum which is supposed to be in our lecture will still be preserved. But let me especially also recognize the the Chief Justice, Chief Judge of uh, Bundu State. Thank you very much for coming, sir. God bless you. Yeah. So please, the first Vice President, please come forward to the podium. Let's make it as brief as possible. All other lectures, the other things can be done outside this auditorium when we have the cocktail party at the guest house. So that the decorum and the solemnity of the inaugural lecture will not be compromised here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, His Excellency, the President and the Vice Chancellor of the University. I greet you specially, sir. The inaugural lecturer, sir. Good afternoon, sir. On behalf of the 58th president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, I can, Alam Tijani Isa Musa, I want to deliver this uh, goodwill message, but uh, like the His Excellency, the Vice Chancellor has said, the president, we don't have that luxury of time, but let me just read a little bit of the two page uh, message. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the message from the ICANN president. It is with great pleasure that the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, congratulates Professor Fajimi Festus, Adebiye, FCA, the presenter of the 36th inaugural lecture of Babcock University. I would like to appreciate the governing council, the Senate, the vice chancellor, for bestowing on ICANN the great privilege to deliver these remarks at this auspicious occasion. 
We are excited that Professor Adebiye's achievement as he delivers his professional inaugural lecture. That has chronicled his academic achievements. We are particularly proud of his immense contributions to the growth of the accounting profession. As I conclude, because we don't have time, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I acknowledge that the president, represented by me, as the ICANN president, is saying he acknowledged the support according to Professor Adebe by his immediate family, professional colleagues, the university, every one of us here. The support he has received from all of you has made this achievement uh, possible. Once again, I appreciate the Board of Regents, the Vice Chancellor, and the Senate of the University for the opportunity to address this distinguished audience. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Governing Council and the entire membership of ICANN, I have I present a token check of one million naira. I believe maybe the wife should be here because beside every successful man, there must be a woman. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, the Vice Chancellor. So, Madam, we are waiting for you. So, you are touching the check so that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Madam, you'll also touch the check. You had a <laughs> so, Prof, this is given to you officially, but you know, we know whom the finance minister is at home. <laughs> So our guest, uh, our inaugural lecturer on behalf of the President, Council and members of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, I present this to you. They said you should continue to profess that they are your support. Thank you and God bless. Well, I think uh, we will invite the immediate family to take a picture with uh, the inaugural lecturer. And then Lily's all other institutes that are here, it's not that we place you over and above or below the others. It's just that we have to maintain the decorum of inaugural lecture. We will have more than enough lecture uh, photograph taken outside. And also where we have the 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 cocktail party. Thank you very much for the understanding. Because the family should be prioritized, so that's why I'm giving that singular privilege to the family. Good. Thank you very much. All other pictures, please don't go anywhere. Where we have the fountain there, the principal officers and all others we take their picture so that we can maximize the time. Thank you very much and God bless you all. We started with prayer and we are going to end with prayers. I request everyone to stand up as we pray. We are grateful, O oh Lord. We are grateful, O oh Lord. O oh Lord. Our eternal rock of ages, 
the King of Glory, the I am that I am, the Ancient of this, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, Father, for what you have done today. Thank you, Father, for your son, Professor, for liking me, Festus Adegbien, who has been able to give his inaugural lecture and has been conferred with that prestigious position of a professor of accounting and translation. Thank you, Father, for the privilege. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the support of the family, friends, and colleagues. Glory be to your holy name for making this occasion a success. We glorify your holy name for the journey mercies granted unto your children from far and near. Thank you, Father, for the program that has been conducted and now we are rounding off. We thank you, Lord Father, for all that you have done for us. Glory be to your holy name. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Thank you for the platform you have used for your... The President Vice Chancellor Recession. There is refreshment for the lecturer, his family members, and other specially invited guests at the Babcock University Guest House immediately after the photo sessions outside. The reception of the family members of the lecturer and club members, including, of course, his professional members. Your recession. I'd like to thank everyone. My name is Joshua Suleiman, the Director of Marketing and Communication of this institution. It's wonderful to have you all. Thank you very much and have a very beautiful time.